Good morning everyone. It's Thursday morning and this morning we're going to read together Proverbs chapter 25. Let's hear God's word. These are more Proverbs of Solomon collected by the advisors of King Hezekiah of Judah. It is God's privilege to conceal things and the King's privilege to discover them. No one can comprehend the heights of the heaven, the depths of the earth or all that goes on in the King's mind. Remove the impurities from silver, and the sterling will be ready for the silversmith. Remove the wicked from the king's court, and his reign will be made secure by justice. Don't demand an audience with the king, or push, push for a place amongst the greats. It is better to wait for an invitation to the head table, than to be sent away in public disgrace. Just because you've seen something, don't be in a hurry to go to court. For what will you do in the end if your neighbour deals you a shameful defeat? When arguing with your neighbour, don't betray another person's secrets. Others may accuse you of gossip and you may never regain your good reputation. Timely advice is lovely, like golden apples in a silver basket. To one who listens, valid criticism is like gold earrings or another gold jewellery. Trustworthy messengers are fresh like snow in summer, and they revive the spirit of their employer. A person who promises a gift but does not give it is like clouds and wind that brings no rain. Patience can persuade a prince and a soft peach can break bones. Do you like honey? Don't eat too much, it will make you sick. Don't visit your neighbour too often or you, you will wear out your welcome. Telling lies about others is as harmful as hitting them with an axe, wounding them with a sword or shooting with a sharp arrow. Putting confidence in an unreliable person in times of trouble is like chewing with a broken tooth or walking on a lame foot. Singing cheerful songs to a person with a heavy heart is like taking someone's coat in cold winter or pouring vinegar in a wound. If your enemies are hungry, give them food to eat. If they are thirsty, give them water to drink. You will heap burning coals of shame on their heads, and the Lord will reward you. As surely as north wind brings rain, so a gossiping tongue causes anger. It's better to live alone in the corner of an attic than with a quarrelsome wife in a lovely home. Good news from far away is a cold water to the thirsty. If the godly give in to the wicked, uh, it's like polluting a fountain or muddying a spring. It's not good to eat too much honey. It's not good to seek honours for yourself. A person without self-control is like a city with broken down walls. Amen. That's the end of Proverbs chapter 25. It's interesting just to see at the very start of that chapter, it says that they are Proverbs of Solomon, but they were collected by the advisors of King Hezekiah of Judah. So obviously they were written down during the time of Solomon and then they were put together after that time. Maybe that's why it doesn't seem to flow at times, it jumps around. It's because it's bringing together all the different things that Solomon has said. But within that, there are two things which are interesting. One is verse 12. To one who listens, valid criticism is like a gold earring or other gold jewellery. We often talk about um, giving somebody positive feedback, don't we? Um, trying to encourage someone by telling them maybe what was good, maybe what was not quite so good, or what could, they could do maybe a little bit better. And it says there, to one who listens, valid criticism is valuable, it says a gold earring. I wonder how good we are at listening when other people tell us things. None of us like being told we've done anything wrong or that we've got something wrong or that maybe we could have done it better, sure we don't. But if somebody tells it to us in the right way and for the right reason and if we're prepared to listen, it is so valuable to us because it helps us. And, and that's what the Christian life is all about. You know, we get things right, we get things wrong. It's listening to the voice of God through his word, through others, uh, as to how we can correct that, how we can change our habits so that um, we live a life more the way he wants us to. 
not easy, but cheers, not. But the other thing which is very hard to do, but um, maybe you recognise these verses because they're used also in Romans, is what we find in verses 21 and 22. If your enemies are hungry, give them food to eat. If they are thirsty, give them water to drink. You will heap burning coals of shame on their head and the Lord will reward you. God always encourages us not to, I mean, like you said before, Jesus said about turning the other cheek or going the extra mile. Um, it's about not wanting to pay back the people we see as our enemies with uh, what we might see as justice, but to show them love instead. That's why in this proverb of Solomon, it's about if they're hungry, give them food to eat. If they're thirsty, give them water to drink. It says it's like heaping burnt and coals of burning shame on their head. It's thought that proverb relates to um, something in days of old, where if somebody was truly sorry for something they'd done, one thing that they might do is it was like a, a bronze dish that sat on top of your head, um, and you would heap burning coals um, on the top of that dish. Now, obviously, that was very uncomfortable. Obviously, that could burn, um, but that was one way in in ancient days where people showed that they were sorry for their actions. Um, and Solomon says, you know, help your enemies, do good to them. And it's as if you're heaping burning coals of shame in their head. They're, they're, they, they will see for, for themselves their wrong actions. Um, Paul quotes that Proverbs in Romans 12, when he talks about not repaying evil with evil, uh, but rather repay it with good. Uh, and in that way, somebody will see their own actions. So there's a challenge for the rest of this week. Um, if somebody is mean to you, be nice to them and see what the reaction is. You know, at the minute, whenever you're out shopping, maybe you see people who are selfish, maybe you see people who are not considerate. And um, there's the temptation to, 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 to repay like with like. Don't take a step back. Um, be kind, show love instead and see what the reaction will be. You know, if, if we could all do that, we would live in a very different world, wouldn't we? Um, Solomon may have written this a very long time ago, but it's still so relevant today. So there's a challenge for us today. Let's pray together. Father, thank you again for your word. Thank you for how detailed it is, how complex it is, how it shows us things. Um, Lord, we think about that challenge that we hear to not repay, repay bad deeds or evil with evil, but rather to repay with good, uh, and let your word just work. Help us to be able to do that in any interactions that we have this day, this week, um, in which people are, are nasty to us. Help us instead to show them love. Continue with us now, Father, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Thanks, folks, for joining in this morning. Thanks for watching. Uh, great to have you. Um, be back again tomorrow morning at half nine again. Uh, so until then, take care, God bless, and please stay safe. Bye for now.